Okay, so um, now we're going to be walking through how to run code um, using the fixture um, from 2A Part Picker on an AR-15 lower. Um, this is <clears throat> uh, basically how we're going to start everything. So you're going to want to install the lower. Uh, you don't need to install all six um, M4 screws, but what I do is I'll line it up with the the t-nuts on the table I'll install one two three four m4 screws to the t-slots on the ghost uh, the GG and then I will um, loosely uh, tighten them keep I'm, I'll keep them loose essentially so I can align it with everything that I need to one thing to notate make sure that you don't rub the base plate up against the right way cover or the left way cover you want to have room on both sides to be able to unscrew the, the hex nuts. Um, also make sure that your machine is empty. Um, you know, we're working with super tight spaces, so I don't want anything to hit. Uh, so let's, let's start running something. I'm gonna run an M16 pocket on the top. You're going to want to get your edge finder um, and a, a quarter inch um, uh, end mill. That's going to ask you to install the edge finder. Now when you're installing the edge finder, install it but don't tighten it. Okay, you, you just want to tighten it by hand loosely so you're able to pull it out by hand when you need to, okay? Okay, so we're going to move it into position and we're going to probe the X and Y right now, which let me adjust this to show you where it is. Again, we're probing manually, so it's going to be by hand, remember? Um, sorry for the camera angle, I'm doing my best here with all this. Save that. I'll probe Y. Thank you. 
Now, what you'll do is you'll pull out the edge finder, move on to the next step, which is going to be installing the quarter inch end mill. Okay, so you'll install the quarter inch end mill. Um, when you're installing the quarter inch end mill, um, <clears throat> what I want you to do is take the collet out and the collet nut out. You're gonna insert it just ever so slightly in, I'd say about halfway into the collet nut or halfway into the collet. Don't insert it all the way through or you don't wanna bottom it out in the, the collet is the biggest thing. Uh, again, because of the limited space that we're working with, you wanna make sure that you have plenty of room to clear the buffer tube, or the buffer tower, excuse me. Tighten everything up now. And now we're gonna probe Z. Now, before you get too close on it, grab a piece of paper, insert it in between the lower and the tool. Move the increments down to 0.1. And move the paper back and forth until it catches. Right there's my Z. Now back it up to remove the paper and move it back. That's your Z-axis. So now before you start the top cut, grab your magazine insert. This helps reduce chatter. I usually install a piece of paper in it just because I've got some wiggle room in mind. The paper solves that issue. So just install it like so, just like that. Uh, grab some cutting oil, that's what I use at least and I'll coat the lowers um, fire control pocket that I'm gonna cut with it. And again, I don't have to worry about the probe shorting or anything because I'm using the edge finder. I don't have to worry about a mess because I'm using my chip tray. So we'll do that and we'll put, we'll leave the, the top off, but let's start cutting. And it's just going to ease in there. 
Basically, it's just going to run into its code. Um, it takes a little bit. You can run it higher if you want. I run mine at 100%. Um, I'm in no rush, so I don't have to do it at 300% or anything. <clears throat> and I prefer to do it in a 100% or lower just for a better finish. Um, you know, it's just kind of what you're going to get with taking your time and knowing the limits of the machine. Um, so there you have it. That's how you use the, the fixture. I'll send a video as soon as we're done um, cutting and I'll just leave it here until it finishes. Uh, you know, on my end, I know nothing's gonna happen with it because I trust the code and I trust the fixture. So, thank you so much. Let me know if you guys need anything.